I'll start to record. And if everyone wants to come to a comfortable seat, you can be in Varasana, you could be sitting cross-legged, or maybe up on a block, or heels in front, palms on top of the thighs, or open. So you have this nice, natural curve or lodotic and clopotic of the spine, allowing energy to move upward. And you leave your palms open to receive or close to ground down. And close the eyes. That'll help you to draw in. So I invite you with your right hand, take Vishnu Mudra. So that's your pointer and middle finger come to the base of your thumb. And your green finger and pinky finger are out along with your thumb. And you take a nice deep inhale, eyes closed. And press on the right nostril with the thumb. And exhale out the left. Inhale through the left. Take big dick, stick, and pinky finger. Close that left nostril off and exhale out the right. Inhale through the right. Close that nostril off. Exhale left. Inhale, left. Close, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. We're going to take just three more rounds. Inhale, left. Close that off. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Last round. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close, exhale, left. And release your hands. You can keep the Vishnu Mudra if you like. Setting a little intention for your practice right now. Take a few more breaths. And when you're ready to move, start to bat the eyes open, cling on to all fours. 
Make sure you moved on to all fours if you want to hit play on the playlist. Now is your chance. You just fanning the fingers open wide, right to left, left to right. There's some snap, crackle, pops through those fingers. You can move through cat and cow. Maybe kick some side body rolls, allowing for some free movement. Maybe even dropping the hips back to the heels. Roll it out to the neck. And then curl the toes under, sit back on the heels. Remember just to stay as long as you can. I know this is really intense, but it's very helpful in opening the back chain of the body. So interlace your fingers, right thumb on top, draw the knuckles down. And then bring that bind over to the right hip. Drop right ear, right shoulder. So it should look something like this from the front. Inhale through center, draw the knuckles down, lift through the chest. Exhale, bring the bind over to the left side. Drop left ear, left shoulder. Inhale through center, draw the knuckles down, lift up through the heart. Exhale, release it out. Maybe give the toes a little tap here. And turn the fingertips back towards the knees, heels, and the hands forward. Push down, lift between the shoulders, drop your tailbone down to activate the core. You can stay here or push to the tops of the feet, bring the knees a couple inches off the mat and stay for five. Four, three, two, on one, lower down. Come to a neutral spine. So it doesn't mean your belly completely collapses, but it's just neutral with the hips. We're gonna keep our hands here. If you need to walk side to side, give them a little space, especially if this is really tight and intense. And either stay with the all fours and lift between the shoulders, Drop the tailbone, engage through the glutes, or step back through the high plank. Push through the heels, engage through the glutes. Keep lifting between the shoulders. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, on one, lower the knees. Good job. From here, sit back to the heels. Maybe shake the hands out. We don't do this action a lot, this wrist flexion. So it's really intense on the wrist because we're always doing the opposite. If you hold silver where you hold your phone, you type on the computer, it's the complete opposite. So it can be very intense. So stay with as much of it as you can. Hands by the sides of the knees, round and back. We're going for low loss now, so keep the arms engaged, tops of the feet flat. As you push through the floor with the hands, pull the knees up as close to the collarbone as you can, even if the knees are only a half an inch off the floor. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, get the knees together, 6, 5, lean forward, 4, Lower down. Good job. So from here, we'll take one more low asana. And again, maybe shake the wrist out. Set the hands up, round through the back. From here, we're going to hold for 30 seconds or stay as long as you can. I'm going to give you an added option too. So Push to the floor, pull the knees up to the chest, try and keep the tops of the feet flat. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, lean forward, 5, 4, squeeze the knees. 
knees together. Three, two, and one. Pick up the right foot if you can. Otherwise, just stay with both feet on the floor for five. Four, three, two, on one. Switch sides. Left, back, four, three, two, on one. Hold the little asana. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Now our core is all warmed up and we're nice and fired. <laughs> so let's move on to something a little simpler. Modified Surya A. It's the hands at the top of the mat, reset the knees underneath the hips, throw the toes, press the heels back and the hips up to the sky. I always like to keep a nice bend in the knees. You can still feel your tailbone draw up to the sky with the bend in the knees. And the heels can actually Come closer to the mat. So inhale, right toes up. Exhale, step to the outside of the palm. Drop, left knee down. Inhale, open up through the heart center, pull forward. Exhale, push back through the left. So you're in this like high lizard. And then step forward with the left foot outside the left palm. Dig into the yogi squat. Let's come up for the active squat. Exhale, Samasthi Tahiti. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. Exhale, sink to the active. Land the palms to the earth, push through the floor with the hands and shoulders. Step back, right. Lift into the high lizard and then slow lower the right knee. Pull the hips forward. So this should be a nice stretch for that psoas muscle. Lift the chest. And then exhale. Push back through the heel. Step. So you're in the high plank. Or you can be at the knees. Either or is an option. Let's take the chaturanga push. Pull in hips back above the knees. Drop the forearms. So feel the cow side as you pull. Pull the heart forward, move the arms with you. Low cobra or up dog, your choice. Tuck the chin to the chest, full body roll. Let's take one more round like that. Inhale up left this time. Exhale, step the foot forward. Drop the back, right knee down. Pull the hips forward and sweep. Left arm up and back. Just reach for the wall behind you. Find that little twist. I have the option to pull my heel into the glute. And you can stay active, and don't touch the foot, or passive, grab the foot, pull down to the hips. Slow, come around. Reset the palms into the floor, push through the earth. Press back through the right heel, step forward. Squat. Up. Active squat. Exhale, summer seat to heat. Inhale up, exhale, active, plant the hands, step, left foot back this time, eye lizard, drop left knee, reach back through the right, take the twist, feel the rib cage wrap around the spine and open for the back wall, option, pull left heel into the glute. Stay with the active or go for the passive stretch. Either or are good, both have different benefits. Exhale, slow come around. Push to the earth, back to the left heel. Step into the high plank. Always having the option to drop to the knees or stay in high. Chaturanga, push. Drop the knees if you haven't already. Forearms, inhale, pull the heart forward. Up dog, or take the low cobra, either or are good. Exhale, tuck the chin, full body roll back, round up. Remember the softening through the back of the knees, shift up through the sits bones. Inhale, gaze forward. Visualize your feet coming to land to the outside of the palms. So maybe you just walk nice and slow. Feet up, drop the hips. Yogi squat. Up for the active squat. 
on us deep to heave. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, active. Land the palms. And maybe just step back one, two, the feet. High plank or from the knee. Chaturanga. Push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull. Up dog. Exhale. Roll back. Down dog. Couple more rounds. So you can keep your walk. Maybe take some hops. Land the feet outside palms. Up to you. Yogi squat. Active squat. Let's take a few bounces. Three, two, one. Bones deep to heat. Inhale up. Exhale active for three, two, one. Land the palms. Push to the floor. Maybe step. Take a couple hops. Frog hops. High leg. Chaturanga push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull your way through. Move through the arms. Wrap the shoulders around. Up dog. Exhale. Step the chin. Roll back. Down dog. Good. Now step. Hop. Forward. Float your way to the top. Bringing the feet to the outside of the palms. Coming into the yogi squat. And then up. One, exhale, vamos deep to heat. Inhale up, exhale, sink. Yogi's, or active squat. Three, two, one. Exhale, sink into your yogi squat. Then plant the hands, flip between the shoulders, push to the earth. Walk, hop, float the way back. Roll into the high plank. Chaturanga, push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull the way through. Exhale, roll the way back. Beautiful yogis. Push through the palms, lift the heels a little higher. And exhale, drop down. Feel soft in the back of the knees. Move the arms to Surya B's with the Surya A in between. Inhale, right toes up. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose, tiger curl. Lift between the shoulders, push to the floor. Inhale, right toes up. Exhale, knee to nose, lift between the shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale, lay on the foot to the top of the mat. Double bend leg. So then the back meets you parallel. Inhale, come up. Arms raise. Right hand to belly, left hand to low back. So stabilize right here. Left shin parallel with the floor. Hip bones point forward. Push. Tailbone draws down. And then keeping the hips here, just push back to the left. Lean forward through the shoulders. Nice long lines. Ground down through the right and push off the left. Warrior three. Getting a slight bend in the right knee. So push away from the earth. Bend. Slow flow back. High lunge, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer behind the head. Wrap the elbows in so they stack above the shoulders. And then reach for the back wall. Exhale, slow lower. Push to the floor, step back. Vinyasa. Try around the push. Knees and forearms and land. Inhale, pull. Roll the way through. Exhale, tuck the chin. Roll the way back. Down dog. Inhale, left toes up. Exhale, tiger curl. Pull the knee to the nose. Push through the earth. Lift between the shoulders. Inhale, up. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, up. Exhale, set the foot to the top of the mat. Little bent leg lunge. Inhale, come up. So right shin should be parallel. Left hand to belly, right hand to low back knee. Stabilize the core. Push back through the right heel. Take the hips a little lower. Then bring the shoulders forward. Float into the bent leg warrior three. Push away from the earth with the left. 
and keep the hips level. Slight bend, float right toes down. Inhale, arms up. Hands to prayer behind the head, wrap the elbows in. Feel the lift of the front body. And then reach back. Exhale. Slow, place the foot, push through the earth. Step back. Chaturanga, lift. Drop the knees in the forearm. Inhale, pull the way to front. Exhale, roll the way back. Taking the Surya A variation. Step, hop, walk, feet to the top of the mat, yogi squat. Upper at the squat. Three, two, one. Exhale. In. Exhale, active. Three, two, one. Find the hands to the floor, push away from the earth, lift between the shoulders, walk, hop. Float, feet to the back of the mat, roll into the high plank, chaturanga, push to the floor, knees and forearms land, if they have it already, inhale, pull the way through cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the chin, full body roll back. Beautiful. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, drop the head. Soften the knees. Inhale, right toes up. Exhale, round, pull forward, tiger curl. The right foot to the top of the mat. Double bent leg lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right hand to belly, left hand to low back. Push back through the left. Shoulders forward. Float into the bend. Push away from the earth. Bend. Slow float back. Inhale, hands up behind the head. Elbows wrap in. Find the extension. Exhale, lower. Push through the earth. Step back. Shatter the push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull your way up and through. Exhale, tuck the chin. Full body roll back. Down dog. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull, knee to nose. Set. Foot forward on the left. Double bent leg, lunge. Inhale, come up. High lunge. Double bent leg. Left hand to belly, right hand to low back. Stabilize. And then push back through the right heel. Lean the shoulders forward. Float into the bent leg, warrior three. Push away from the earth. Exhale, soft, all the way back. Really intentional with your movement. Hands to the prayer behind the head, wrap the elbows in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Hands to the floor. Float, step. Chaturanga, push through the earth. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull the way through. Up, up. Exhale, roll the way back. Down dog. Gaze forward. Walk up. Float the way to the top. Take the yogi squat. Up for active squat. Three, two, one. Samasthi to keep. Inhale up. Exhale. Active. Three, two, one. Land the palms, push to the floor. Lift between the shoulders, step. Maybe take some cups or float your way back. Coming into high plank. Chaturanga push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull the way through up dog. Exhale, roll the way back. Down dog. Last round for all of it. Inhale, right toes up. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Set the foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, double butt leg lunge. Exhale, right into belly, left into low back. Push through the left heel. Shoulders forward. Float into the bent leg. Push away from the earth. Bend. 
slow flow back. Inhale, hands up. Hands behind the head in prayer. Wrap the elbows in. Extend. Find this upper body lift. Exhale, slow plank. Push to the earth. Step back. High. Shoulder of the push. Knees and forearms plant. Inhale, pull. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose. Back to the floor. Double back leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left hand to belly, right hand to low back. Ready, push back through the right heel. Shoulders forward. Flow up into the bed leg. Push to the earth. Bend. Slow flow back. Hands behind the head and prayer. Wrap the elbows in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, float down. Shoot the foot back. Chaturanga, push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, all the way through. Exhale, roll the way back. Last, Surya A, walk, walk. Float the feet wide. Squat. Yay. Act to squat. Three, two, one. So I'm going to see Inhale up. Exhale. Active. Three, two, one. Put the hands lift between the shoulders. Walk. Hop. Float the way back. Roll your way to hop. Take the chatter of the push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull the way through. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, roll the way back. Down dog. Do you need? Drop the knees. Come into a child's pose. Otherwise, just hold your down dog. Three breaths. Last one. Inhale, gaze for it. Visualize your feet landing between the palms. Walk up or float the way to the top. Inhale, up for your chair. So you're dropping the hips back, reaching up through the fingertips. Engage through the inner thighs. Exhale, saw the seat to heat. Taking a folding series, arms down by the sides. Exhale, we're gonna drop the chin into the chest. Flow like a rag doll, fold forward. Start to come to meet the mat, chest to thighs. As best you can, remember, soften the back of the knees if you need as much as you need. And releve through the heels, bring the hips down to the heels. Point the knees forward, but notice shoulders come above the hips. Hands can check the distance on top of the knees, arms are straight. Nice triangle formation here. Hands to prayer. Hips uh, lift off the heels for that pelvic floor lift. So there should be a little space between your heels and your hips. And then lean back through your shoulders as you drop your knees forward. So just so you know what that looks like, it's just a lean back through the chest, soft drop forward. And we're going to push the hips up, bring the right hand back, and left arm overhead through the circle camel. Inhale through center, exhale left hand back, right arm overhead, circle camel. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center. This time we're going to lean back through the shoulders to bring the knees up. Good. From here, bring your chest to your thighs. Your hands can come to the floor. You're going to drop the heels and shift the hips up. So you're going to forward, hold it. Then inhale, feel that breath pulling you up so you rise. 
Take two more rounds, just like that. So exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, full body round, soften forward. Relevate to the heels. Get the hips down to the heels. Point the knees forward. Good. Now slow, lean back. Soften the knees down. Circle camel, right. Center, left. Center, right. Center, left. Center. Come back, lean back. Bring the knees off the floor. You can cover the hips. Then we exhale, chest to thighs, heels drop with or without hands to the earth. Shift the sits bones up to the sky. And then inhale, slow rise. Last one. Exhale, let's roll down. Relevate through the heels. Get the hips down to the heels. Point the knees forward. Stay here. Exhale, lower down. So from here, circle camel. Right, center. Left, center. Right, center. Left. Center. Ready? Pull the knees up. Good. Exhale. Chest to the thighs. Drop the heels. Feel the hips shift up. And all right. Wiggle the feet together. Sweep the arms up and exhale. Sink the hips back. Chair pose. Exhale, land the palms to the earth. From here, you can take crow pose. So if crow is not in your wheelhouse, keep the toes on the floor and just pull the knees up to the chest and lift between the shoulders. If you're trying for crow, then the elbows back towards the shins, knees into the back of the armpits, and lean forward. If you're afraid of falling forward, this is a great spot for a pillow in front of you. But know that if you don't go forward, you can't pull your feet off the floor. And if you drop your head and look towards your toes, you're going to do more of a headstand. And then walk step, pop the way back, wherever you're at. I plant, start with a push, knees and forearms land, and then pull the way through, exhale, roll the way back. Taking our warrior series, inhale, right toes up, step the hip and open. Let that right side lift and open. Drop the right shoulder and reach the toes for the back wall. Take a pull the knee to the nose, tight curl, step the foot forward. Drop the back heel down as you cartwheel the arms up for your two. Hex up. Push into the front bent knee, back through the left pinky toe. Exhale, reverse. So shift out of the hips, reach for the back wall. Inhale, center. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, weight into the left. You can wiggle the right foot towards the right side, drop the left heel, come in for kickstand. Stagger, stack, take a lifted or a modified. Stay here. Exhale, pull the knee into chest. Set the big toe forward. Land. So you're gonna drop the back heel down. This is a great spot for a block in front of the toes or just hand to the floor. Notice the hips want to jet back. Drop them forward, take a bit deeper bend, and then scoop the floor, the left. Paint, and then reach up to the sky. I always think of it like a paintbrush. So inhale, reach back, you can try that again. Paint the floor, reach up to the sky. 
Nice long diagonal lunge from the fingertips and left to the back heel. Stay one more breath. Inhale, pull yourself up, warrior two. Exhale, push through the right big toe, reverse trigonosana, stretch up and back. Exhale, we're gonna circle around. So right hand's gonna come down to the right shin. Left arm's gonna come up and over. Nice fluid motions. Soften this back knee so you don't hyperextend. Pull back to this left hip. You wanna keep the left hand to the hip here, stabilize, that's all good. If we keep the fingertips reaching up for the sky, or drop the hand behind the back for the bind. Stay one more breath. Inhale, bend into the front knee. So you're gonna cartwheel the arms around, plank the foot, step back. Take the chatter on the push, knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull the way through. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll the way back. Inhale, left toes up. Stop the hip and open. Drop the left shoulder. Push away from the earth. Inhale, reach through the toes. Exhale, pull the knee to the nose, round hip between the shoulders. Set the foot to the top of the mat. Drop the back heel down. Cartwheel the arms up for your two. Land here, bend deeper into that front knee. Push to the outside edge of the right. And then exhale, shift out of the hips, reverse the warrior. Inhale to center. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down, landing the weight into the right hand. So I like to drop the left hand to the low back. So as we turn, we feel the right heel drop. Can you wiggle the left foot into a kickstand position? Or if you prefer, stagger, stack. Take a lifted or a modified here. Stay here, three breaths. Push to the floor, lift. Exhale, pull knee into chest and set the big toe forward on the left. This is a great spot for your block in front of your toes. Drop the right heel down. Inhale, up and back with the right arm. Meet the floor again. Reach up and over. If you need to do that a couple times, all good. It's really helpful for your shoulder to set up. You notice if the hips want to pull back here, Push them forward. Deeper bend in the front knee. And then inhale, pull up. Warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Reverse Trikonasana. Inhale, circle the arms down. So left hand lands to the shin. Right arm sweeps. Up and over. This is also a great spot for a block with the left if you need. Pull back through the right hip. Soften through the left knee. Stay hand up to the sky. Stabilize on the hip. Or drop the hand behind the back. So notice, reach for the back wall first. Keep the palm open towards the right side until you can't anymore. And then flip by the bind. Last breath here. As you release, one hand at a time. Cartwheel the right hand down. Maybe you can walk away, land the left. Then pick up the left foot. Slide it back, high plank. Chaturanga, push. Knees and forearms drop. Inhale, pull the way through. Exhale, roll the way back. Inhale, gaze forward. Visualize the feet landing between the palms. Walk, step, hop, 
float your way to the top, however you want to get there. Just bring your feet to the top. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. My cat's like, uh, excuse me. Inhale, up the chair. He's been slightly judging me at the side for not putting more love on him. Exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to take a variation of dancer's pose. This is just to help us get into those muscles. We'll go back to the normal dancer pose, but for right now, I'd like you to test your um, muscles. Inhale, arms up. Reach back with the left hand. And so instead of grabbing your foot, you're just going to touch or tap the top of the foot and then kick up the back. So you're using those muscles, finding the lift, hold, five, four, three, two, and one, release, and just pull the knee forward as a hit, hands, hip, <laughs> hands to heart. So from here, notice if this left hip wants to Drop it in, push down more through the right. Push glutes forward. And then pull the heel in as best you can. Turn the knee out. So this is just an active tree pose. So you know what it looks like? Your foot's hovering outside, whether it's ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Just we'll stay here for five. Four. I know we've been on this long leg for a long time. Three. You've got this. Two. I want to exhale. Land the foot down. Good job. So, reset. Both feet on the floor. Maybe take a couple of inhales. And exhale. I like the double inhale, double exhale. Double in. Double One more like that. Double in. Inhale, arms up. So same thing on the right side. Reach back through your fingertips and just touch the bottom of the foot. Wrap the knees in and squeeze up and back. Lift a little taller. Hold here for five, four, three, two. And one, as you release, pull the right knee in front of the hip, and then you'll pull the right heel to the glute, pushing those hips forward, and open the knee out to the side, so your foot's hovering outside the calf, ankle, inner thigh, stay here for five, four, you got this, three, Keep breathing, two, and one, all the way down. You take a little walk, shake it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink back, chair. And land the palms to the earth. Knees into the back of the armpits, option for curl, or just take that modified low lasana. Lift one foot or two, hold here. Five, open the toes. Four, three, two, on one walk. Up, load your way back. Take the chaturanga, push. Knees and forearms land. Inhale, pull the way through. Up dog. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll the way back. Down dog. Last round of the Warrior Series. So what we just did, a little, little bit more pace. Working through your breath. Inhale, right. Exhale, open, three-legged, drop the toes to the opposite side. Inhale, reach the toes up. 
Exhale, come over to a forward. Drop the back heel down. Inhale up. Forty two. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale forward. Two. Exhale, left hand lands. Inhale, open and twist. Exhale, step back, stagger, stack, take a modify. Open here. One more breath. Inhale, lift the lip. Exhale, pull the knee into the chest and step the big toe forward. Drop the back heel, hand toe block. Inhale, sweep up and over with the left. Exhale, pull your way up. Reverse Trigonasana. Inhale through center. Shift the hips back as you exhale. Float into the Trigonasana. Like bend that front knee. Maybe open up the back. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Float, come around. Hands land on either side of the foot. Push through the earth and step back. Take the chaturanga, lift. Knees and forearms drop. Inhale, pull the way through. So roll the way back. Inhale, left. Exhale, pull the foot forward and throw. Good. Now drop the back heel. Inhale up for your two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale to center. Exhale, cartwheel. Right hand lands. Drop the right heel. Inhale, open. Exhale, step back. Slide the foot to stagger. Step. Take a modified or lifted. Stay for two breaths. One more. Inhale, push and lift. Stay for the end. Exhale, pull the knee into the chest. Land the foot forward. Drop the hands on the left toe. Block or to the floor. Extend the side angle all the way up and over. Exhale. Inhale, pull yourself up. Reverse Trigonasana. Inhale through center. Exhale, shift the hips back. Triangle pose. Inhale here. Exhale, come around. Find both hands to plank the foot. Step the foot back, float. Give the chatter of the push. Exhale. Drop the knees and the forearms in. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale, pull back. Good. Inhale, gaze forward, walk the top. Float the weight to the top if you can. Halfway lift. Exhale, pull. Inhale, up through the chair. Good. Sink back through the hips. Ready? Exhale, summer seat to heave. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, right hand reaches back. Grip to the inside of the foot. Knees can touch. So this is your natural row that you've been taught for years and years if you've been going to yoga class. Grip by the big toe side. Hips point forward. And then we kick up the back. So notice the chest doesn't want to drop forward. We want to move through the right toes. Keep the front body lifted. Stay as long as you can. I'm going 
exhale. Slow. Come out. So the more the slower you are with this movement, the more muscle memory we build along the way. It's easy to want to leave things very quickly. It's harder to move up slowly. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, left palm. Opens. Grip to the big toe. So notice, not to the outside, but the inside. The shoulder wants to stay open as you kick up and back. And the lift through this front body. So it's a big back bend. Think of it like a bridge pose. And the ocean lift. Lower down. From here, ground down through the left foot. You're just going to pick up the right foot, ankle, calf, inner thigh, tree pose. Hands to hips, hands in prayer, and just stay. Maybe you'd like to close your eyes or lift your arms up tall. Hands can take a lot of different positions, maybe even behind the back for reverse namaskar. And then exhale, we'll slowly release that down. Ground down, weight into the right foot. Hands could be at the hips. So notice if, you're, if your butt's kind of like sinking back, Push, hips forward. This is a little stronger stance here. You can feel your hip bones kind of push forward. You exhale, pull that left knee up for tight, and then turn out and open. Ankle, calf, inner thigh, land for the tree. So you want to keep that action, the glutes engaged, and the pushing of the hips forward. Strong tree pose. Hands, hips, prayer, up to the sky, your choice. Just drop into a drifty gaze, like find a soft point of focus forward that's non movement. Lower the foot down. If you're not already, come to the top for a minute. Inhale, arms up. Like so, sink back through your hips. Land, hands down to the earth. Inhale, have to lift. Exhale, fold. Hands to the earth, push to the floor, walk, hop, low, the way back high. Now from your high, you can come down to the knees. Otherwise, we're going to slow lower for five, four, three, two. Come on, one, all the way down. Hands come outside the mat. So like little spiders or teepee fingers. Elbows point up to the sky. Inhale, pull back through your shoulders. Slow lower. Inhale, pull up, lift. In, pull up, lift. Exhale, lower. Face to the mat. Hands reach back. Step. Take a nice deep inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Engage to the legs. Keeping the tops of the feet pushing through the floor. Exhale. Use your back muscles to pull you up. Reach through the fingertips. Maybe hollow through the belly. And lower down. Two more, just like that. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Push through the tops of the feet. Exhale, pull your way up. Hold your keep reaching back. Hollow through that belly. And then lower down. So when I say hollow through the belly, you're really just trying to pull the navel up to the spine to activate the core. So deep in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, pull up through the back muscles. Navel to spine. Push through the top. 
feet, squeeze the glutes, stay. Five, four, three, two, and one, all the way down. So reach your right arm straight up from your shoulder socket. Left toes point up to the sky. Exhale, drop them over and open. So you can keep this left hand in front of your face or your chest. You can reach up and back and drop the hands. Might be nice to have a block or a pillow right here for your head. Left hand comes in front of the chest and roll back to center. Left arm straight out, point the right toes up, drop them behind the hips, roll open. Inhale to center. Exhale. So from here, I want to give you one more little back bend before we come down to the earth. So wrap your shoulders back, push through the floor, come into your up dog. So really easy. From here, you can drop the knees, you point the right toes up. I'm just going to bring the right toes over to the left side. So you're rolling over and then pushing up, finding a wild thing. Exhale, lower down, roll back to the up dog. You can drop the knees, point the left toes up, drop behind the right, shift up to the hips, wild thing. Exhale, lower the hips first, then come around, rolling over. One more time, so drop the knees, right toes point up, drop to the left, shift up to the hips, wild thing. Toes to the right, shift up through the hips, wild thing. Exhale, lower the palm, come forward, shoulders back. Drop the knees, pull the hips back. So pull the heart forward, hips back. Curl through the pads of the fingers. Like the hips are almost going to touch the floor, and then exhale. So it's around through the back. Come all the way down, forehead to the feet. And now everybody coming up to your version of a gentle seated position. I just want to close this all off and then if you'd like to take a really long shavasana after this, five to ten minutes, I would highly suggest it. So, take a nice deep inhale, hands to prayer, thumbs to your third eye center, or hands to chest, either or. Deep in, deep out. And feel free to chant with me. I'm going to do one om and three shanti, shanti, shanti. And deep in. Big exhale. Aum. Shanti, shanti. Shanti. I bow to the divine light within you that's also within me. Peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you, yogis. Take some Shabbat and have a wonderful Wednesday.